Do you wonder what I'm going to say? Hmm. Well, in this video, I am going to talk to you about items that I don't normally share with you. And I'm going to tell you why I don't share them with you. And I'm going to tell you why it's still good to sell these things. Okay. So I, we're just going to get into it. Okay. I am Bolo Buddies and I talk, I talk about items to be on the lookout for items you can hopefully buy low and flip for a profit. And that is what I did with these items, but there is a little twist. So let's get started with the first one. And it is a Cynthia Rowley dress. It's a size 10 and it sold for a best offer of $11. All right. I think I probably paid between three and five for this, probably at Gabriel Brothers or TJ Maxx. That's usually what I tried to keep my cost of goods at when I sold clothing back in the day. But this has been many, many years ago. So I doubt I could get stuff at that price point today. I don't know. I haven't really uh, sourced clothing in a while. But I listed this November 22nd, 2019, and that may have been a relist. So this has been listed for five years, almost, almost five years. Now, did I make big money on it? No. But did I make my money back plus a profit? Yes. All right, let's keep going. There's going to be like a theme to this video. These are Billabong shorts. This was definitely a relist because I got these, I believe, before 2021 because I want to say my husband and I were not married. I I got, um, I bought out PacSun, not the entire store, but in bulk. They were having a going out of business sale and I got tons and tons of these board shorts. And I had my best year ever when I sold all these multi-quantity listings from that store closing. Now, I do still have some left. They are slowly selling, but I'm going to say, oh golly, maybe 11 or 12 years these have been listed, but I probably had 60 or 70 pair of these shorts in different sizes. And you just multi-quantity and you sell them over and over and over again. I relisted this, it looks like January 21st of 2021. So a little over three years that this has been listed, but I am finally out of stock on those. These are Lane Bryant sandals. I picked these. Oh, the shorts average about three bucks for those. This is a really old listing, 2017. And I got these at Discount Fashion Warehouse. I want to say I paid about a buck for these. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe it shows on the bottom. So back when I used to buy from them, they would do 90% off. So if they were $10, I got them for a buck. I bought a whole bunch of these. I took a best offer of $14.30 on these and the buyer paid shipping. And let's see, I still have some left. So multi-variation. This is an example of a multi-variation listing. I am not a big fan of multi-variation. I don't know why, but I'm just not. So you select, I only have wide. Um, and then you select the size. And I only have size 11 and 12 left in these. They're super cute little sandals. And I've sold 12 and I have four left. Also, I want to draw your attention to buy one, get one 25% off with code BOLO coupon. So if you put BOLO coupon in your cart at checkout, you will get 25% off. And coupons are a great way to drive people into your store. And I have a video that teaches you how to set this up. If you type in BOLO Buddies, coupon into the YouTube search. It should pull that up for you. And I highly recommend it. I also have a way to send coupons to people that follow you on eBay and coupons to past buyers on eBay. So it's a way to generate people and get them into your store. Okay. Super easy to do. It's free and it is a great eBay tool that you may not be utilizing. So if you decide to use that and it gives you an uptick in sales, come back and let me know. But yeah, it's a different video. So you'll have to check that out there. So variation, I think in the future, or I know I, I stopped doing variation. So I would just create separate listings, Lane Bryant sandals, size eight, Lane Bryant sandals, size nine and make different listings. I don't like the variation. Let me know what you guys think about variation. All right, let's go on to the next item. Oh, these were listed since 2017. So you're going to see 
a trend and we'll talk about it. Here is another one. Relisted these. So 2022, I relisted these. I still have seven available. So if you're looking for some billabong shorts, I got you. Um, I sold these for a best offer of $10 and the buyer paid shipping. So what you're going to see trending in this video is a lot of old listings that need refresh. Now, I am a believer in letting your items sit because I think that helps you in the search engines other places. I don't know that for sure. That's just what I've heard. Um, I think if you're constantly relisting your items like every 30 days, I don't know if that's a good thing. Let me know what you guys think because I'm really open to hearing what you guys have heard. Me personally, I list it and forget it. Now, some of these items have been listed since 2012, 2017. I need to refresh those. But those that have only been listed for a year, not I, I'm not real concerned about those. But here is what I'm doing because I have a lot of really stale listings. And I'm going to see if this is going to give me an uptick in sales. So if you look right here on my YouTube channel, it says starting over. Why, how, and what? So go check out that video. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to relist everything in my store. And I'm going to get it. I, I'm just doing some things. So check that out for the whole story. I'm not going to go into that now, but check out that video. And I'm hoping that is going to generate more sales on these staler items so that I'm selling more of them. I'm still selling them and they've been listed a long time. So that's good. But what if they were refreshed? This one is a Lane Bryant uh, sweater or uh, blouse. But again, it's one of those uh, multi quantity. I had a bunch of them. But when I relisted it in 2019, I only had size 1820 left. So I should update this title. Four have sold. I have 10 left. So what did I sell that for? I sold that for $7.74. I had a sale running and the buyer paid shipping. And probably, I think I paid a dollar for these. These are squeeze couture leggings. You can tell again, it's a very old listing because I wasn't using photo room and it's laying on the carpet. I recommend using something to white out your background rather than having your items lay on the carpet. This will turn people away. Am I going to update this? No, I'm not worried about it. I'm just going to let it sit until it sells. But just that would be my recommendation. This is from 2020. And I sold these for $6.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Victoria's Secret Brawl. Again, listed since 2020. I bought a whole slew of these at a discount store. I think I paid about $3 each. And I am just slowly selling them out of my store. There were many that sold very quickly and a lot of them that are sitting. Most of them are the bralettes that are size small, medium, large, and extra large. This sold for $10.39 and the buyer paid shipping. This is another one. I sold this one for $12.99, been listed since 2020. So what I'm showing you is stale items do sell, but refreshing after so many years is probably smart. But, you know, I would say I would let things sit for six months to a year without refreshing. That would be me. But this 2020 and 2018, I need to, I'm, I'm starting over. So check that video out. Here's another brawl. This is Colorifics. It is a... Um, different style of brawl. But look, you can do the band, the cup, and then US uh, conversion size. So these are the sizes that I have left. And all of the rest are sold out. And I have sold 16 and have one left. But wait until I show you this one. Just hang tight. This one sold for, I think they bought two. They bought this one and the other one that I just showed you for $21.07. Look at this, 149 sold. This has been listed since 2017. So when I relist this, I think I'm going to relist it differently. But I only have size 32 in E and FF and 30 in E and FF. So the, I only have those sizes left and there's five available. 149 have sold. So these are UK sizes. What's bad about this is you get a lot of returns because people don't pay attention to the sizing. So, um, but I, I want to say, I think I had a buck or two in these and it's just been profit after profit after profit. And 159 or 149 I've sold. 
Here is a Lane Bryant blouse. Again, I've sold 15. I have three left. I have multiple sizes available. You can see these are the sizes available. 14, 16 is sold out. And I sold this for $11.47. The buyer paid shipping. And this also has been listed since 2017. The multi-variation listings are harder to um, relist. You know what I mean? I, I'm going to have to figure out how to do that with the multi-quantity and see if it picks it up and all that good stuff. This is Best Western Soap. So everything in this video is pretty much stale clothes. Um, and when I say stale clothes, a lot of them are multi-quantity and I've sold a ton over the years, but they've been listed a long time. Stale listings, not stale clothes. The clothes are still fine. <laughs> <laughs> but this is soap. And I saw this and I'm like, oh my goodness. I remember this is one of the first things I bought when I started doing hard goods. Uh, sold this in two, or listed this in 2019, but I'm pretty sure I relisted it. I sold it for $4.22 and the buyer paid shipping. And if I remember correctly, I got this in a suitcase uh, that I bought and it was free. But vintage soap, especially... Um, is it ivory? I don't know. There's a certain vintage soap that does well. Google... or. Uh, Check solds for vintage soap. Another Victoria's Secret brawl. I've sold two of these and am now out of stock. This one sold for 11, buyer paid shipping, listed since 2018. Here's another, and I have sold 131 of these. 131, there's your sizes that are left. And 2017, again, probably paid a buck or two for these. And sold that one for 12.40 in the buyer paid shipping. This is a garter belt by Kasik. This one, uh, 2020. And I did decide to list these. I had multi-quantity, multi-variation, and I listed these separately. And I just like it better. Uh, sold three, have five available. And sold it for $6.75 plus shipping. And I believe I paid a dollar for that. Here's another one. Very old listing. It was a relist. It's been listed again for the second time probably since 2019. I'm pretty sure it was a relist. Sold four, seven available. I sold that for, I think they bought more than one because I sold it for $18.57 and the buyer paid shipping. They bought two or three. This is a Swiss cross uh, big and tall men's shirt, probably paid between a dollar and $3 for this. In 2019 is when I listed it, sold it for $8 and the buyer paid shipping. So I'm not making a ton of money on these items because I've had them so long and I'm taking best offers. I'm trying to move the clothing out and I really only focus on hard goods now. So I just want to sell it. Got it? Here's another Victoria's Secret. Sold this one for 11, buyer paid shipping, listed since 2020. Lane Bryant jean shorts. These are awesome. Uh, this was a retail arbitrage. I bought it off of the website and um, you can use coupons. You can buy things on sale. Um, I really don't do this anymore. I'm not really sure if it's still a good, um, if you can get good deals doing this. But back in the day, I was able to get some good deals. I probably had between six and seven dollars in these, sold them for $18.20 plus shipping. And that's been listed since 2020. This was another one that I bought multi quantity of, and this was my last pair. Uh, these are Express Pants uh, 2021. This was listed, and I have sold five, and I have two available. Sold these for a best offer of 12 plus shipping. So you're seeing this. This is without my sale price. My sale price usually kicks in and then I take offers. These are CNC California listed in 2020. I probably relisted that at some point. And uh, $9.92 is what I sold them for and the buyer paid shipping. Now, I may not have done very well on this. I could see back in the day at TJ Maxx spending five on this because they retailed for 78. So probably didn't make much on those. Kind of just happy to get my money back on some of these things. This is a shirt, a fun and flirt, extra small. I sold this for a best offer of $6. I probably paid a dollar for it. And that was listed since 2020. This is another bra. I have sold 26 of these. And I sold this for $12.40 plus shipping. It's been listed since 2017. And you can see this is Parfait by Offentoss. UK sizes. You have to use the conversion chart. and I got a great deal on these and I made a ton of money on them, uh, but they have taken a long time to sell. Some sold very quickly. The bigger sizes like the H and the FF and the G, those sold really quickly. It's the smaller sizes that are a little bit harder to sell. 
Uh, Lane Bryant jeans skirt. I probably paid three to five for this. And I sold this for $17.35. It's been listed since 2020. This one here is a tie. I don't even remember where I got this or what I paid for it. I think it may have been at Gabriel Brothers in one of their bag sales. So where you fill a bag for a certain amount. Uh, I want to say I got it there because it still has the original tag. I sold this for $8.68 and the buyer paid shipping. I have two more available and I listed this in 2020. So again, go watch Starting Over. Check out that video. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do, how I'm going to refresh my eBay store. I've already started. I love it. And those are items that have been listed for a long time. You can see that they still sold. I still made money. But do I think a refresh is in order? Absolutely. So the timing for what I'm doing is perfect. So let me know what you guys think about stale listings. Because once I refresh those, those are going to look like new items in my store. So yeah, instead of looking like it's, you know, being at the bottom of the algorithm, it's going to be bumped to the top. All right, guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check out the description of the video for um, links and different things. Uh, my referral and affiliate links, things I use for my business. Those are all down there. And there are other videos attached that you guys can check out tutorials and stuff like that. So I hope to see you the next one. And thanks for watching. Oh, and did you guys like this video? Is this like something you don't care about? I'm just really just trying to make a point. Again, I really don't show you guys my stale clothing sales because I mean, I bought these a long time ago. So it's definitely not current, but it does prove a point. I know a lot of people go through their inventory and they're like, I'm getting rid of everything that I've had for a year and I'm getting rid of it. So, you know, time and space is important um, when determining this. But let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching.